Welcome back to my channel. This is Sir Paya. Sa mga bago pa lang sa channel ko, ako po yung nagtuturo ng basic programming kung paano gumawa ng system from the scratch. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong upload tulad nito. So update tayo sa ginawa nating student violation system using Vivid.net 2019 and MBSAC's database. So kagabi, Tapos na tayo gumawa ng uh, user account. So, so makapag-save na tayo or makakreate na tayo ng user account. So today, so paano naman natin i-update or i-change pass yung password natin sa ating user? Okay, so punta tayo, punta tayo dito kay user account. So si tab So, change natin yung name ng tab 2 or the index ng tab 2. So, pwede natin ng change. Password. Okay. So, copy lang natin to. Ayan. Tapos, ito, palitan natin to ng old password. This is old password. Tapos, um, new password. And then, confirm new password. So, change natin yung name. Txt user1. Text the old one, text the new one, text the confirm one. Tapos update. Between take. Ayan. So by default, naka disable to yung old, new, saka confirm, new password. Disable natin. Punta tayo dito kay Enable set natin to false. Okay. So, punta tayo dito. Uh, punta tayo. Try. Sin that open, sin that close. Tapos a CM. New ODDB command. Then a uh, CDIC asterisk from TBL. So, yung name ng table natin, TBL user. From, from TBL user. Where username. Username. Post active connection. Then we have a CM that execute and uh, parameters that add with value. So yung ginamit natin dito na text is itong si text the user one, text the user one that text. Tapos dr. So, basahin niya. Tapos, um, condition tayo. If, ano, dr. That, if, dr. That has rows. Then, so, pag meron, so, takes the uh, all that Enable true. Takes the new one. Enable true. So, pag, pag meron, yung hinanap natin na user account, so enable nyo yung 
enable niya yung old password, new password, at saka si confirm new password. Otherwise, pag wala, else tayo. And lagay natin dito. Set natin to false. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, gawin tayo dito ng variable para sa ating old pass. String. So, pag meron, isayin natin sa ating old pass yung value ng ating dr. Yeah, that item in the password that is string. Otherwise, pag wala, ang pass natin is naka, ayan. Okay. Tapos, uh, condition tayo dito. Try. So, first natin na condition. So, first condition nato, if the old is not equal to takes the old one the text then so this is box tayo old password did not match and then return so yung return is it terminate niya yung execution so, hanggang dyan lang siya yeah. tapos if Pag old password natin is not equal, it takes old natin. So, ayan. Ayan yung lalabas na warning. If a new one takes the new one that takes is not equal, it takes the confirm one that takes then copy natin to. So, new password, confirm new password with net max tapos kita so pag okay equal yung old password at saka yung new password at saka confirm password so dito na tayo mag update so update tayo cm new oldgb command update tbl user c password equal to password where username so pag keyword ah i ano i lagay natin sa bracket at uh, username dapat active connection with cm dot parameters dot add with value Uh, so, na na dito yung si password. So, password yung nilagay natin sa parameter. Yung txt um, new the text. Tapos si uh, username yung txt user1 user1 the text tapos that execute non query. Ayun, tapos dito is save na tayo. Our password has is has been Tapos, clear tayo. Kung may clear ba tayo dito. Ilagay natin si txt. Confirm. Let's clear. Ayun. Ah, uh, hindi na. Ano lang. Si user1. So, automatic na yan. 
Kasi mayroon tayong code dito na nilagay ito. Pag, pag walang record, so automatic siya mag enable. Tapos txt confirm turn nya txt tanggal pala dito kaya pala so try natin meron tayo dito uh, account si admin 1234 so example run natin yung program so um, user account since past tayo Mm -hmm. So, may error. Ayan, may error siya. So, yung error niya is... Hindi ito dapat lagay natin dito. Cut. Lagay natin dito. So, again... but may clear dito. So, walang clear dito. Si clear is lagay natin after pag-update dito. Ayan. Admin. Okay, so, yung isa is hindi siya naka- This is takes good. But, mm hmm. Ayan. This is takes the confirm one. Sample admin. Ayan, but nothing. But Ayan niya. Texting the mirror. Hold me. Confirm one. And this is txt. Confirm one. So again. So dito is ano. Dito is nakalock pa yung uh, old at saka new password. So, example, type natin yung admin. Yan, naka-enable na. So, hindi ba natin ano? Import mas natin yung So, at uh, txt old one confirm one at saka si texting new one yan admin so example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 kasi ito is 1, 2 uh, admin tapos admin 1, 2, 3, 4 Update natin. So, old password did not match. So, dapat lagay natin is 
1, 2, 3, 4. Check natin. Confirm your password did not match. So, dapat nakalagay dito is kasi admin yung nilagay natin dito. So, dapat it is admin lock. Then, update natin. Password is successfully uh, uh, changed. So, check natin kung na-change ba yung password natin. So, ayan, lima na. Okay. So, uh, kung titingnan natin dito, magalan natin yung password pinalitan natin siya ng admin. So, example naman, once na admin, tapos natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Update natin. So, all password did not match. So, dapat to is admin. Tapos, example, so, then your password did not match. So, dapat to is 1, 2, 3, 4 lang. Save natin. Update. Okay. So, check natin dito kung update na ba siya. Ayan, update na 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, design, tapos punta tayo kay password. Input mask, lagyan natin ng password. Ayan. So, ang purpose yan is para yung password natin is naka-input mask siya. Okay, so that's it for now. And so, uh, bukas yung tutorial natin ito pa rin. So, ang uh, gawin ng login form. So, after sa login form, dashboard. After na dashboard, tapos na tayo sa ating uh, ginawang student validation system. And then, tataposin rin natin yung ating POS system, yung using C Sharp and SQL Server Database. So, after sa C Sharp, then, continue natin yung school management system using C Sharp. At saka, uh, mag-start na rin tayo sa bago nating tutorial pag matapos natin lahat. So, yung uh, hotel management system naman yung nagagawa natin ng tutorial. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa ating uh, tutorial. So, happy coding everyone.